In this video, we're going to show you how to install a QDC enabled and pre filled GPU water block. We're using the NVIDIA Titan X graphics card. You might have a different graphics card, so take this guide as a visual reference. Always read the installation manual thoroughly and follow the steps carefully. First, we have to remove the stock cooler. You have to remove all the screws that are holding the stock cooler. After removing all the screws, carefully detach the stock cooler off the board. Wipe off the remains of the original thermal compound by using a non-abrasive cloth or Q-tip. We recommend the use of denatured alcohol for removing thermal interface material leftovers. Every block comes with thermal pads and some are already pre-cut. Others have to be cut to smaller chunks in order to cover all the VRM components such as MOSFETs and drivers. Remove the protective foil from one side and place the pads on the PCB like the installation manual indicates. This part of the installation is the most time consuming, so make sure you don't hurry and take your time. After you cover all the chips, make sure you remove the second protective foil. This is very important. Take the water block and position it onto the graphics card. During this process, make sure you align the mounting holes on the PCB with the holes on the water block. Do not use too much force pressing the block down to the PCB. Prepare the screws and PVC washers and start tightening the screws around the GPU core and continue outwards. Do not use too much force. Different water blocks and graphics cards have a different number of screws and hole layouts. Follow the installation manual for the proper procedure. Your graphics card is now ready to be used with Predator Quick Disconnect Coupling. See the next video for more.